Hello my lovely Virgo, welcome to your reading for February 2024. Hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you Virgo. It's a reading for Virgo Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. If you would like to book a private reading or personalised reading you can follow the link to my website and book that reading from there. Also my yearly readings, my gen general yearly readings are, are out. If you would like your own personalised yearly projection for 2024, you can visit my website and book that reading from there. Please note that it is available till the end of January only. It's a limited time offer. So if you're, and we're nearly there. So if you would like to book that reading, please make sure you don't miss out. My lovely Virgo. I feel I want to say to you, your channeled message is about not giving up. It's about really moving forward, not showing restraint in what you want to achieve, not holding back your abilities, your capabilities, what, you, what it is you're wanting. I feel like there's something that you've tried in the past that maybe hasn't worked. Uh, it, it is now time to revisit that. The energy is really good for revisiting something that may have given you a bit of a disappointment in the past. Uh, it, it could be a promotion, it could be a, a study, it could be a new job, uh, the job you've always wanted, it could be a relationship, whatever it is, um, purchasing a particular house in a particular state, um, whatever it is for you, it's time to revisit that. You're going to be given a second bite to the cherry. So it's about not allowing fear to um, get into the mix. It's about really um, moving forward with what uh, you're wanting to achieve, what you're wanting to put in place, what you're wanting for your future. I'm going to draw a card for you from my Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's have a look at what your animal totem is for the month of February. What animal, spirit animal is yours to draw from for the month of February? Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. What have you got? Ah, you've got the jaguar. Let me put my glasses on so I can see it. Release. Yes. Okay. Release. The, this is the Jaguar moving forward with steadfastness, with purpose, releasing whatever it is that doesn't fit. It's about you releasing with confidence, with strength, with empowerment, releasing anything that's not serving you in this 2024 and certainly in February. That could be doubt, it could be fear, it could be um, self-worth, whatever it is. Whatever, whatever happened in the past is in the past. It's time to release it so you can move forward unencumbered. So call on that Jaguar energy, that energy of strength, of being calculating, of, of knowing where you're, you know, the Jaguar knows where it's heading. It knows what it wants to achieve. It sees its prey. It sees its goal. It knows how to move forward slowly, surely and slowly and surely it moves forward towards what it wants to achieve, what it wants to get. It also knows when to release. So it's about releasing what is not uh, necessary for you to hold on to. My lovely Virgo, I'm going to create the Celtic cross for you. Let's see how we go with that. I have some cards for Virgo, please. Thank you. Oh, cards are falling out everywhere. Okay, we're nearly there. Let me move my glasses. I like this. Oh, there's three for the end. Done. Okay, let's have a look at what is there for you. Okay, the first card you've got here is the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles is really uh, very is 
very confident. You know, you've got a, a, a rabbit there and rabbits multiply. So your ideas, your desires, your goals will multiply. They will grow very, very quickly um, as rabbits do. They multiply very, very quickly. You've got, you've got fruit, you've got gr uh, flowers, you've got growth, you've got lushness. So the Queen of Pentacles is very, um, very grounded, but also there's abundance here. There's growth, there's expansion. So what I want to say to you is at the very beginning of February, you're going to be feeling very confident. You're going to know the direction you're wanting to move in. You're going to know what you want to fulfill. You know, you want, you're going to know what you want to do and how you want to achieve it. You've also got the Four of Swords. So this is about you meditating, connecting with your guides, connecting with the higher realms, um, getting inspiration from the higher realms through meditation, through having a break. Sometimes you meditate just by walking through a forest, walking along a beach, just being on your own, getting rid of distractions, just allowing your mind to process you know, sometimes, you know, when I, when I bake or if I garden, I can lose myself in thought. And you get these thoughts coming in, these pearls of wisdom that are dropped in your aura. So that you're going to get that guidance. You're going to need that time out to really process, see what comes through, see what thoughts are there, see what communication you have with, your high, with the higher realms as well really important in whatever shape that takes whatever that is for you it's just about getting rid of distractions so that you can uh, move forward without holding back without restraint really using everything you've got in in moving forward you've also got the ten of swords which tells me this is about release this is um, the, any difficulties any any lack of communication any difficulties any negativity any any negative ways of thinking any fears any doubts you're going to leave those behind don't bring them with you into February you're giving an you're given an opportunity for to the universe is saying to you, that's come to a close. It's finished. It's come to an end. It's come to a close. Just take with you the wisdom of the situations that you've had to deal with. Take with you that knowing how it's changed you, how you communicate differently, what have you learned, what problems have you overcome, knowing that you've got that strength, that Jaguar strength to bring, bring with you. On a subconscious level, you've got the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles speaks of um, balancing things out. You're balancing out your funds, your finances, you're balancing out work, you're balancing out home life and work life, relationship, you know, having a fairness in the relationship. It can it, Having these discussions can be a little bit difficult because not everyone really wants to hear these things, you know, oh, you know, we need to discuss this or I need to help, you need to help a parent or you need to help a family member and you need to divide your time. It's going to be a little bit difficult for you because there's things that you want to achieve, things that you want to do, things that you you want to move on to but there's a sense of duty and a sense of obligation and so there's that that trying to balance life trying to balance everything um, everything that you need how that manifests in your reality that you've got the two of wands so you do find that peace you do find that calmness look at the water it's not very different to this card you've got the ships and the water but with the two of wands it's about you making your choices and decisions. What passions, what creativity, what do you want to do? What goals do you want to set? How do you want to move forward? What choices are you making? What new um, goals are you setting? What new horizons do you want to explore in life? This is the proverbial horizon. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a relocation for some of you. The opportunities are going to be there and the opportunities that come to you are going to be karmic opportunities. They're opportunities that are meant to be yours. So what is yours will come to you and it's about having the faith and understanding that what is yours will come to you, that you will be able to achieve what you're meant to be achieving in February. There's something karmic about what's coming to you in February, my lovely Virgo. You've also got the King of Wands here and the King of Wands is... Um, creative, powerful, strong, good head for business, 
passionate, um, confident. This is you, really like you, there's a shift. There's some big shift that occurs with you, my lovely Virgo. You're feeling really confident about how you're moving forward, the choices and decisions you're making. You know they're going to be fulfilled. You know that you're going to achieve them. You're leaving behind the fear, the doubts, the you know whatever it is that you've released that you don't need anymore. You're you're starting something here that is going to be very very successful. There's the sun in the background here. Uh, it's a, it's a card of of um, sunshine, of growth, of expansion expansion it's expansion I want to say to you that you're entering a month of expansion what are you going to expand if you're thinking negatively if you're thinking of fears doubts lack of self-worth that's going to expand if you if you are feeling confident um able to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve um success successes around you that's going to expand so make sure that your way of thinking is positive you're spiraling up cup is half full not half empty you've also got the six of cups so this is something that you're revisiting from the past so it could be something that you've tried in the past that hasn't been successful you're redesigning it and you're you're trying it again in February where it will be successful this is also a card of is there do you need to forgive someone in the past or do they need to forgive you um, what is, what's going on here there needs to be some sort of mending of, of the past which also helps you to release to release whatever it is you're needing to release so that you can move forward on a clean slate because what I'm seeing here is a slate that you're wiping clean you're wiping all that history you're right wiping everything off that you don't want so it's all nice and clean and you can start redesigning your goals your achievements what you want what you want to bring into your reality um, you can you can rewrite what you're wanting what you're wanting to achieve you then have also got another king the king of swords a new way of communicating, a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new way of um, writing, a new way of speaking. This is new learning. There's new learning that's coming up around you. But there's this real strength of knowing that these changes that are coming about in you, there's such confidence here. You, there's such confidence that you get as you move through February. There's no holding you back. You know you will achieve what it is you set out to achieve. You know that it will be successful. So there's a whole new way of being. That whole new way of being brings about the eight of wands. Eight is a very fortuitous number. It's a number of good fortune, luck. There's going to be a lot of opportunities that are going to come your way. Things are going to happen very, very swiftly. Things will fall into place very, very swiftly. So where it has this slow burn, this slow start, because you need to rethink, you need to decide what you're releasing and what you're taking with you, there's that slow burn. But by the end of February, things just seem to take off. It's like, what am I seeing? It's like someone's lit the fireworks and the, the fireworks are all happening. Wow, you know, it's setting it all up takes time, but then when you light it all, it's just magnificent. So this, this is a card of great opportunities coming your way. I like that. The last card you got, you got two cards, so I'll give you that. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is, this is abundance. This is things coming to fruition. This is you being in a very different headspace a very different energetic space um, you're going to see life very differently things are going to really be moving forward for you there's achievement there's achievement you've also got the um, the ten of cups so this is about you coming home coming home to yourself maybe coming but having a new home a new environment you're feeling safe you're feeling loved you're feeling secure you can you know things are going to work you're feeling supported as well so it's a card of great positivity that takes you through to March I really like that it moves you through to March so there's you know don't hold don't hold back on anything that you want to put in place February is the month to do that February is the month to to set yourself up for the rest of the year to start things moving for you to get things get things going what have you got divine source I like that 
Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. And that is you trusting, trusting the universe, trusting your own abilities, trusting yourself in how you're moving forward. It's there for you. That's this karmic sort of energy that I'm getting for you. Meditate on it. Take some time out, get rid of distractions. Bring in the energy, bring in your guides, ask them for what you're wanting. They won't act, they won't do anything unless you ask them. So you need to ask them for the assistance. My lovely Virgo, I wish you love, light, and many blessings. If you'd like to book a personalized reading, you can follow this uh, the, follow the link to my website and book that reading from there. If you'd like to book a projection for 2024, a yearly projection, then you can also go to my website and book that reading from there as well. But that is a limited time offer only, runs out in a few days, runs out at the end of January. Many blessings to you, my lovely Virgo.